Aha! There you are, boy. You sure have your own way of doing things, old man. Then again, I guess it's your only redeeming quality. Hey, way to hurt a man's feelings. I've got a ton of redeeming qualities. That's one list you can just keep to yourself. I have to tell you, I was so surprised to find out that Bellius was that beast. Sorry, I mean Antelikea, was it? Yeah, but it seems like the story about her engineering the Great War was a lie. Probably just an excuse the Empire made up for them to invade Nordopolica. Maybe, yeah. So is that the Don's grandson? How'd he end up here anyway? This idiot got fed false information by Leviathan's claw and acted without thinking. I heard that an ally of the Dons had been captured by a monster, and I thought I'd come to save him. And then, I heard that the monster possessed Abathea, so... They said that Bellius had been captured? Apparently that's what Leviathan's Claw said. So they went down there with the hunting blades to kill the monster. And that monster was actually Bellius, so even though you got the Abathea, the ally you were supposed to save ended up dying. Yeah... You need to learn to take things slower. Check your information before you rush out all ready for battle. Damn it! What the hell do you know? Things like this happen, I guess. Having the Don for a grandfather puts a lot of pressure on the boy. Anyone with a grandfather like that would be expected to work their butt off, yeah. Everyone expects too much of him. So he works hard not to let anyone down. And then things like this happen. Palastrale is not going to be too happy about this. Even if he didn't have any choice but to fight, I doubt they'll take that for an excuse. That Nats guy should forgive us, I think. That would be nice, but Nats isn't the Duce. It's the others in the guild we have to worry about. Oh, I don't know how to get out of this mess. For now, I'm going to take him to see the Don. Take the ship to Dongrest as soon as it's working again, would you? Gotcha. I actually do know how to get out of this, but... An eye for an eye. It's a matter between guilds, after all. I was okay with taking out bad people on my own, but I couldn't tell the others. Not before with Estelle, and not now. I gotta face up to the choices I've made. It's been weighing on Carol, too. Who knows what'll happen to brave Vesperia? So many things to deal with. I'm a little mixed up. Sorry for dragging you around, repeat. Right. There's nothing else to be sorry about after all these years. <laughs> okay, so what should we start with? Before anything else, we'll need to have the ship moving. Hmm. Does it look like it'll be okay? Oh, well, it's pretty bad. Jeez, this isn't usable at all. Damn it. I can't believe that Judith was... Why was she with us in the first place? That dragon, Baul, right? It attacked us back in Heliord, didn't it? You've got a good memory. That's not the sort of thing I easily forget. Do you think they were going after Estelle back then? Yes, she knew. She knew about Estelle. You didn't already know that she was that dragon freak, did you? Yeah. Damn it, I can't believe you! We all have our reasons for what we've done. You and Judy both. You mean... And me too, of course. You mean Rago and Kimor? Huh. I don't care much about what happened to them. What you did may have been a crime, but if you ask me, though the severity of the crime may differ, there's no such thing as someone suspected without cause. Are you saying the same goes for you? Who knows? I mean, even that woman was... Judy was a loyal member of our party. That's how it looked to me, at least. Yeah, that's true, but... If she had just shared what she knew about the Child of the Full Moon, and about the Entelikea, Estelle's problems might already have been solved by now. It depends, doesn't it? Pharaoh told her she was poison, after all. You know... It's possible she knew where Pharaoh was from the very beginning. Yeah, maybe so. Either way, I'll never forgive her for breaking that Blastia! Well then, if Judy comes back, you can feel free to beat her up. She's not coming back. Hmm, I couldn't say. Oh, 
How's the ship heading? Hmm. Apparently we're being pushed north by the current. I see. Sorry for making you come all the way out here with us. Don't worry about it. This was my plan from the beginning, anyway. Well, I'm happy that we've got someone who knows how to pilot a ship, but... You've got to go treasure hunting to get your memory back, right? That's okay. I'm just gonna take it easy. Life's longer than a bright red eel's ear or a slimy eel's body. Well, that's better than living life fast and recklessly. Besides, it ain't bad being here with you, Yuri. I'm glad to hear that. When I think about that, I start feeling like maybe my past doesn't really matter. But that doesn't mean you're gonna quit searching for your memories, does it? I... I'd like to know more about my grandfather, so I can figure out what I'm going to do in the future, and how I should think about the name Ivory. I see. Then I guess you can't stay with us forever, huh? I... but I've realized that there are many more good things when I'm with others than when I'm by myself. So, when my memory returns, I'd like to travel with all of you again. Yeah, if we get the chance, that might not be a bad idea. When that time comes, maybe Judy can also. I don't know. Judy has her own reasons for not being able to be with us. I hope your reasons haven't changed by then, though. see anything? I don't see anything at all. After what happened to Bellius, and with Judith breaking our Blastia and running away, I just don't know what to think anymore. Oh yeah? And then you went and cut your arm like that. <laughs> that was painful. It's not funny. But you healed me. I couldn't just ignore you, could I? I can't just ignore someone who's injured in front of me. So what are you all rattled about? Don't you remember? Bellius said to take good care of your kind nature. My power is the reason that the Entelikea hate me, isn't it? What's with you being able to use magic without Blastia? Even if I make an effort not to use my power on the Entelikea, to them, I'll still be evil. That's why Pharaoh was trying to kill me. But Bellius said you should try to meet Pharaoh, didn't she? Yeah, in order to discover my destiny. But I wonder, is that really right? No, that can't be. I'm the one who'll decide my destiny. Now you've got the idea. Oh, Yuri! What's the matter? You look more serious than usual. Yeah, I was just thinking about how hard it is to put a guild together. I thought things might go okay since I was with you guys, but... Have you lost faith in your ability to lead the guild? No, not at all! I'm working as hard as I can! Alright, then I'll borrow from your attitude and do the best I can too. Hey, Yuri? Can I ask you something? Yeah? Is it true that you... that you killed Rago and Kumor? It's true. How could you keep that from me? I kept meaning to tell you. I'm sorry. Even though I think it's bad, you don't regret killing them, do you? Yeah, I don't. I just don't know. Flynn and Estelle were trying to bring them to justice, too. Did you really have to kill them? I think there are some things that you have to do. Even if they're a crime, someone has to do them. Even if it means taking the blame. Maybe so, but... Even still... I just did what had to be done. You shouldn't force yourself to try to accept what I did. Yeah...
I've finished making adjustments to the Blastia. I've checked all the other parts, too. Everything's ready. That's great! We'll be able to use the boat again! If you don't mind, I'd like to bring Harry back to Dongris first. We need to head to Dongris, too. Right! We've got to deliver Bellius's Apatheia! Why don't you let old Raven take care of that for you? What do you say? We couldn't ask that of you. Oh, that hurts. Still can't trust me after all we've been through, huh? It wasn't a formal request, but I feel we should honor Bellius's dying wish. It would be unjust if we didn't deliver it. Yeah. Besides, we're also at fault for Bellius ending up like she did. We've got to own up to what we've done. The Dawn also might know why everyone wants these Apatheas so badly. He was trying to get his hands on one too, don't forget. If we can learn more about the Apatheia, we might find out why Flynn's been using such extreme measures. Well then, I'll make sure to set things up with the Don for you. Really? A wiser man than I once said, even chance acquaintances are decreed by destiny. If it's meant to be, I don't mind putting in the effort for brave Vesperia. I'm going to meet with the Don too. You too, Rita? A lot has happened. And I get the feeling it's all connected to this Apatheia somehow. So... It was the Don that told us to go find the Apathea in the first place. He just might have something up his sleeve. So Rita, you're with us as far as Dongrest? I'm going to Dongrest too. Because going with us is profitable? Well, as long as you're piloting the ship, this works out well for us too. It's not just that. I'm going because it sounds like there might be clues about my memory in Dongrest. Didn't you say that the Dawn in Dongrest was a friend of Eifried's? Hmm? Oh yeah, I was talking about how Eifried and the Dawn worked together when they fought the Empire. Then the Dawn might be able to give me some clues about my memory. Well, if that's the case, then let's travel together. Jeez, that old geezer sure is popular. I hope he doesn't get so busy that he faints. That only leaves Estelle. I think she needs some time alone. I agree. I wonder when we'll see Judith again. Hey, once we've delivered the Apatheia, let's go see if we can find her. That's not a bad idea. Besides, she broke the guild laws, and you know we can't just let that slide. Right. At least not without hearing her reason. But first up is Dongrist. There'll be a stretch of beach along the southern edge of Tolbikia where we can lay anchor. I'd wager that'd put us as close to Dongrist as we could hope. Okay, sounds like we've got our destination. Like an easy win. Don't get cocky. This? No.
I'm gonna take this one with me and pay the Don a visit. These things usually take a while, so why not hang tight at the inn? I'll come over when I can. Wait, can... can I come with you? Hmm? This is union business. Not sure you'll have much to talk about. I... actually... there's something else I wanted to ask. Can't it wait till you bring the apatheia with everybody else? It's... I'd rather ask it on my own. If it's not too complicated, go and give it a try. I can't make any promises, just so you know. Thanks! I'll be right back, guys! Do you think we could ask about the apatheia as well? Mm, that qualifies as complicated. You've got that right. Hey, wait up! Where do you think you're going? I've been to this city before, I think. That again? Well, this city does have a history with Ifrid. It wouldn't have been strange for your grandfather to have come here. That's true. I'm going to go ask around a bit. Be careful that you don't end up like you did in Nordopolica or Mantake. I know. We'll be at the inn. All right. Let's be good kids and wait for Uncle Raven at the inn. The town's quiet now, but it could get ugly quick. Yeah, well, we've seen our fair share of ugliness. Not like this we haven't. Do you think Palastrale is just gonna take Bellius's death lying down? The Don's grandson is wrapped up in this too. I guess they can't just let things slide. The guilds sure make a big deal about their rules and settling their scores. Exactly. What a pain. I don't get it at all. We're kind of caught up in this ourselves, you know. Just be ready if things go bad. I know. be resting in the inn. Uh, but, but I have to... We're going to get some rest. What about you, Yuri? Mm, yeah, I could use some time off my feet, too. Yuri, please wake up. Yuri! Huh? Oh, I was really zonked out, huh? Good morning, sleepyhead. Though it's more good afternoon now, ain't it? Oh, hey, old man. You're back. What about Carol? Haven't seen him since I left the Union. I reckon he's still there. I hope he's okay. Well, since the old man's back, does that mean everything's settled with the Union? Did you see the Don? Well, about that... As soon as the Don heard what happened with Harry and Nordopolica, he left the Union. By himself? That's not like him. Where did he go? Well, and this is just my intuition, mind you. I think he's headed for Leviathan's Claws compound, the Manor of the Wicked. What? But Jaeger is the head of Leviathan's Claw. That's so dangerous. Well, I don't think Jaeger'd try anything against the Don. If they went up against the Union, they could lose all of their business, for one. So why did the Don go out there? Hmm. So, anyway, I'm sorry, but the Don's left the city. Well then, should we go to Leviathan's Claws compound? You believe the old man's intuition? If the Don's going up against Leviathan's Claw, we can't very well sit around and twiddle our thumbs. There's no guarantee the scum won't try to attack him. Well, all right then. I'm not really one for waiting anyway. Patty still isn't back, huh? Then I guess we have no choice. We'll have to leave her behind. Estelle, will you wait here? I... I'm going with you. Estelle, don't overdo it. Are you sure you're up to this? Yes. I'm absolutely fine. Estelle... So, you all know where the Manor of the Wicked is? I figured you knew, old man. Aren't you coming with us? 
Well, yeah, I guess I am. Well then, it's decided. We'll just go pick up Carol and... What the... It sounded from the direction of the bridge. Uh-oh. Let's go and see. What's with all these people here? Carol's over there. The Dawn protected this city from the Empire. He protected our honor. Even if we're the only ones helping, we owe it to the Dawn to protect the city. Hold your horses. Settle down, all of you. What's all this commotion? We've heard that a group from Polistrala has been spotted near Heliord. Their leader got killed thanks to a mistake of one of our own. It's only natural they'd want to talk about the incident. Once they learn the Dawn's left town, things could get ugly. We must defend the city from them until Dawn returns. You fools. If y'all weren't so eager to fight, the Dawn wouldn't have had to leave in the first place. Soon as they learn there's fighting between guilds, don't you think the Knights are bound to stick their noses in our business again? Dongrest is independent from the Empire. The Imperial Knights are in no place to tell us what to do. The friendship treaty still ain't finalized yet, you know. Yuri! Everyone! What do we do? This is gonna become a war between guilds if we don't do something! If only the Dawn were here. They say that the Dawn may have gone to the Leviathan's Claw Compound, the Manor of the Wicked. What? Really? Well, probably so. We were about to see if we could go there. Want to come with us? But... There's a chance that the Dawn's not there, right? Yeah, it was just the old man's intuition, after all. If he's not there, war could break out while we're out looking for him. Yuri, what should we do? What would be best? Well, we should be able to handle the manner of the wicked ourselves. You go ahead and do what you think you should do. Yeah. Then I'm gonna go and talk to everyone. Do you think this is the right choice? We don't have much choice. We can't follow the Dawn and guard the city at the same time. I hope that we find the Dawn at the Manor of the Wicked. We're his backup. If Jaeger's the one Dawn's up against, he'll need all the help he can get. Hey! You even know where you're going? It's straight to the west of here! Hey! Wait for me! If the Dawn really did go meet with Jaeger, what could the reason have been? And why would he go alone? It's not to deepen the ties of their friendship, that's for sure. It was probably because he didn't want his subordinates to get wrapped up in the mess. Well, that's just one more example of how much the guilds love doing things the hard way. Upholding every rule, settling every score. Is it all really that important? Hey, if we're going after the Don, now's the time. We can have special sharing time later. Dawn. I'm going too. Are you done with what you were doing? My results weren't that good, so I'm going to meet the Dawn like I first planned. I'm warning you though, our destination is the Leviathan's Claw Hideout. Huh? You really don't get how things turned out that way, but that's exactly my kind of place. Then follow me. Hey, hold on. What is it, old man? You do realize what going to the enemy's compound means, right? What it means? We're gonna be on their turf, playing by their rules. If we get there and we're not ready to roll, they could give us a mighty beatdown and it'd be lights out for us. So, you're asking if we're totally prepared to go? We're ready to roll, old man. You sure? You're worrying more than usual. We're ready. Yeah? Well then, let's go. He's an old man that's just larger than life. In that case, 
case, I'm sure meeting him will provide a clue to the riddle of Ifri. Hmm. Don... Don Whitehorse. Huh? Hmm? Did you say his last name was Whitehorse? Oh, uh, well... Well, you just said it yourself, right? I'm guessing this is the Manor of the Wicked. It's so heavily guarded. We should wait and see what the situation is like first. Can't get too comfortable, though. Shh, they're arguing about something. What part of Let Us In are you having trouble with? Like I said, your timing just seems a little too perfect. Don't you have anything to prove who you say you are? You know what? Actually, we don't. Let us through. The Dawn is here. We don't have time to sit and chat. So, the old man did come here. Bingo! This is our chance to listen in. Didn't you go looking for proof that the Hunting Blades were after that Dragon Rider? I told you, we received word that the Dawn was headed here before we could arrive at Mount Temza. We couldn't very well ignore news like that, could we? The Hunting Blades are out to get Judy? What are you waiting for? You won't be any use to Jaeger if we have to give you a beating! We'll let you through, but not without an escort. You don't mind, I hope. Whatever, just let us in. What luck! Now there's less guards to worry about. Guess we better strike while the iron's hot. Wh who the hell are you? Hey! Nice, Rapide! This doesn't look good. We must be cautious. Here comes a new spell! Ready? That a little too rough for you? I think we're still in the clear. So let's make what they're getting inside. Why do you think the Hunting Blades would be after Judith? If they're looking for Epithea, maybe they want the dragon she was riding. If he's an Entelechea, he might become an Epithea like Bellius. I mean, when he dies. Which means Harry's request wasn't the only reason they wanted to take Bellius down. They want those Apathea something bad. Judy! Judy might be in trouble, but we should help the Dawn out first. Especially with those two charming young ladies in there. Aye, let's be quick and clean this place up. Sure, we should be on our way. I'm just worried about Judith. So you'll be going to Mount Timza? But the Dawn... And we're practicing deciding for ourselves, remember? Let's move. I'm coming too! She'd be upset if I left the Dawn like this to go looking for her. I can just hear her saying, My, what did you think you were doing? Don't worry about that, lady. She's tough. Alright, let's get the old Dawn out of this place. Looks like we found one more thing we can't ignore. Okay. I never would have guessed we'd have to chase down the Dawn and then go make Judith talk. It looks like the hunting blades are on the move too. I want to know how Leviathan's Claw managed to get that information. I'm sure there's something they're after. Judith. I know you're worried, 
But let's just deal with what's right in front of us for now. Right. Let's look for the dawn. We do battle with all our might! Claw would never try something like this, old man. The Dawn's the one that started all this. What? Then that means the old man's. Just what do you think you're doing here, you damn fools? Bringing young ones to a place like this? Bravo. I really should thank you for such a heart-rending performance. What the hell's he talking about? Gah, get out of the way! Get ready. I'm taking you down. Don, it'd be crazy to do this alone. Where's the Don? He's gone after Jaeger. Let's go. This ain't a bad strategy either. All right, here we go. Yay! Doom! 
that's over. This one's pretty tough. Don't just stand there whining. That's over. I'm not done yet. I guess we'll fight. Who's next? Come on, win. Hey, come on! Yay! All right, how about a hug? I don't think so. Justice. Sexuality. Would you stop? I wonder what they were thinking, building a big manor out in the middle of nowhere like this. Isn't it obvious? Crooked plots and intrigue. We should hurry and finish what we need to do before we get caught up in anything. That's not so bad here, Estelle. Why not take our time and get the full tour? Are you thinking of exposing some crooked plots and intrigue while we're here? Nah, I wasn't thinking about any of that. Being in someone's home is just so relaxing is all. I can't believe you. We don't have time for this. We're going on ahead, old man. No, no, wait for me! I guess we'll fight. That's what happens when I get seared. I did it! Thank you! Thank you!
take him out. It doesn't seem fair. How's this? Who did it? This is just luck. Anything up there? That's the logic. This doesn't look good. We must be cautious. Oh, din of this. No good. 